for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. Hello. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the present time, which will be the second week of October. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of Wands, and we have a star card. Now, the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When this is not referring to an actual person, it does stand for getting a lot accomplished. It could be focused on work or career. The queen is positive, uplifting energy. And when she stands for an actual person, it means that she's a really good friend who is solidly 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, just a little side note about the Queen of Wands. If you're trying to conceive and you get this card in a reading, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So if you're not trying to conceive, be careful. Now, the Queen of Wands is with the Star card. The Star card, you are probably feeling really inspired and more hopeful about the future than you had in a while. With the star card, you also feel more confident, more confident that your needs, they're being met. Whether it's emotional or financial or both, they're being met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted. But, like I said, it would have been unlikely that your confidence was misplaced. This is also a spiritual card you could find, or you found yourself feeling at one with all of creation. It's not, it is not a common feeling, so... You should have made sure, or you did make sure that you savored it. So basically, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of Wands, and the Star card. So what I'm getting is that you were very determined about your person. Very determined because... This Queen of Wands is used to getting what she she wants. She's very confident and knows her worth. Yeah, so you were very determined about your person. And um, it has a lot to do with the fact that they made you feel more hopeful about the future than you had been feeling in a while. So any grief of the past it's all gone when you when you're with this person so this connection gave you gave or it's giving you a lot of hope so yeah you were determined probably just to make sure it was it was continuing or it was going to continue so that's the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up. Well, we got the Four of Wands. And it's with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so Four of Wands. It's, ac it's actually showing if you're thinking about attending a, a special event or some type of celebration. It's saying to make sure you go. Because you'll have way more fun than you're thinking. Yes, it will be a great time. It's a great time to celebrate. Now, the Four of Wands, it's pretty pretty plain and simple. It's pretty clear cut. If you just look at the picture. Uh, you see, the Four of Wands is a card that's above the word present. You see how these two people are. They're looking into each other's eyes. And their smiles are like, they're glowing like Christmas, like a lit up Christmas tree. They're smiling right into each other's eyes. Their hands are wrapped in ribbons, wrapped in a single long ribbon together. And the ribbons are just 
flying off into the sky or just blowing in the wind. It's beautiful. Yeah, the way they're looking into each other's eyes, and like I said, they look like, it looks like they're glowing like a Christmas tree, lit up. Four of Wands is actually the marriage and commitment card, so if you're in a relationship, it could move to the next level. Beautiful Four of Wands. Now, it's with this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, if not... Well, like most of all the cups in the in the tarot, it's optimistic, good card to see in a reading. It comes with messages. Usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The knights, it will tell you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. So this card it actually means good news, especially with matters of the heart. So Good news is heading, it's headed your way, it's coming in. So, Capricorn, for the present time coming up, Four of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Cups. So, whoever this is you're dealing with that, that um, made you feel really hopeful again, and um, you were determined about this person. It looks like coming up this, um, well, your person is is rushing in towards you. They're, they want to be with you. Um, Knight of Cups, they're rushing in being very romantic and sensitive. That's, a, that's what the Knight of Cups is. And what's in that cup is a cup of love. So your person, they're feeling you too. Not only you're feeling them, but they're feeling you. They're rushing in. Being romantic and sensitive. They want to talk. And the talk is, it's all good with the Four of Wands. You two could be talking about taking this connection to the next level. Marriage, commitment, engagement, living together. Beautiful. Yeah. That's really nice, Capricorn. Your person is rushing in to, to make things happen. They're positive. Hopefully that's what you want, because here they come. Yep. Marriage and commitment card. That's what the Four of Wands is. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got for... The challenge. Well, we got the Fool card. And it's with the Eight of Pentacles. So the Fool card, it's actually about newness in one form or another. It does, that's what it indicates. Maybe a new beginning, a new day. It's all about just taking a leap of faith. It does indicate the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting, and trust, it actually forms the meaning for this card. So this is considered a positive card, but there could be one thing that's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture of the fool card, he is not. So trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown is one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Yeah, it looks like he's about to land into the Pacific Ocean. That's all blue water. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but below him is nothing but blue water everywhere. Pacific Ocean, that's where he's going. So, it's paired with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it does indicate necessary efforts. You probably will start to feel like you got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. That ded dedication to the task is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So, it's about being clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. 
Now the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. As you can see, this man is going in, it's going into nighttime and he's still working. He probably started early in the morning and he has no intentions of stopping. On top of that, the raindrops, it's raining and the rain, raindrops are huge, heavy rain. So it's a hard work period and this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. So like I said, Capricorn, you and your person, yeah, you're filling each other in a really good way. They charge in to be with you. A lot of talk about the next level, commitment, engagement, maybe even marriage. You're being romantic and sensitive and you're feeling it. You're ready to just die right on in. It's a yes. Yeah, it's a yes for you. So, it looks like you two will be putting in a lot of energy and effort into this connection. Probably even more than before. Because like I said, the Eight of Pentacles, it points to a hard work period. It's a hard work, hard, hard working time. And so you, go, you two go into overdrive. Yeah, and there's excitement here. If you could see the look on this, on the fool's face <laughs> not that he's a fool but he's excited about just taking a leap of faith and a new beginning a new day just going for it so yeah you guys yeah you just you you jump right on in there and yeah you 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 two will have a lot of passion motivation and, and inspiration for this connection and for what you guys are working towards. Yeah. So that's nice. So let's see what the outcome is. We got the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups. Now the Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could actually find it. Part of the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. And when this Ten of Wands talks about love and relationships, it signifies it's a hard place in a relationship. It can be that you're a person, they're undergoing a rough time, and it could have nothing to do with the relationship, but it needs your support. Yeah, so now would be the time to realize that you will not gain by, gain anything by pretending that there are no problems in the relationship. So maybe some things in the relationship needs to be looked at, examined, and considered. Now, it's with this Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives. And how well they work for us. So you could find yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? It's probably extremely clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have? And get on with things. What I'm trying to say is that it's going to be important for you to watch where you put your focus. Coming up. Coming up, watch where you put your focus and make sure it's for your highest good. So the outcome, Ten of Wands, clarified by the Five of Cups. Yeah, so it looks like, hmm, wow, the relationship, it, it's going good for a while here. Yeah, going really good. Then all of a sudden, there's some difficult, there's some relationship difficulties here, which comes with every relationship, no matter if it's a friendship, if it's a family member. Here it comes. Some type of difficulty. So, there's some disappointment. Something happens. I don't know if you guys had a fight or argument. But, yeah. It's starting to feel a little heavy. 
maybe I'm picking up it's just a little fight, but it's weighing on the both of you. Yeah, it's weighing on the both of you. So, but because the Five of Cups is here, you're going to have to decide. Are you going to focus on the positive or the negative? So it's a decision-making time. And you want to be careful where you put your focus because it can cause a make or break in the connection. So that would be the outcome. But overall, it's beautiful. Yeah, I like the fact that your person comes rushing in like that, being romantic and sensitive and wanting to talk. Yeah, this Knight of Cups is about communication. So you two talk about the next level, marriage, commitment, maybe just living in together. Yeah, and you're ready to just dive right on in there. But like I said, all relationships have difficulties. So here it comes. Just make sure you focus the disappointment or whatever happened. Focus it not, for the, not on the negative, but focus toward the positive. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back and check out the next Capricorn reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Just remember that um, these are general readings, they're not personal readings, so you kind of have to take it for, take the story for however it fits your situation. Some of my subscribers, they'll ask me, well, how could this be if I'm not dealing with anyone? Well, this could actually be a friend or a family member or a situation, maybe a co-worker. It could be, but you have to take it for however it fits your situation. So, I can never say it enough, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you join me for the next reading. I hope that you have a great day. And I hope that all of you are doing well. So, please come back. And I hope to see you soon. And I hope to see you soon. And I hope to see you soon.